It is so good to see more ReZero. Though this episode was kind of weird for me because I've seen the source material so I knew what was going to happen, but only for this one episode, and I really don't read source material often. But seeing this brought to life as an anime, it was so good. Spoilers for the episode, by the way, and please don't post comments and continue spoilers beyond this episode. Alright, let's get into it. It started off with the scene from the director's cut, which is good because some people might not have seen that and then they would be very confused. Well, confused in a different sense than we normally are with ReZero. Yeah, it has, it has Amelia and Subaru talking, and Amelia reveals that she does not know who Rem is. Despite already seeing this animated, I felt it was the right decision to make sure that people saw it. Plus, it set the stage so beautifully. Then we got the battle against greed and gluttony. If you could even call it a battle because of how one-sided it was. Anything that tried going at Greed was just destroyed. Cruise tried to attack him with her magic sword thing, but then she had her arm chopped off and lost her memory. And then Rem tried to fight them both, throwing everything that she had at them, but that also didn't last long. The scene was good, though I actually was a kind of little bit disappointed. It felt like it was too quickly paced that the events did not have the time to sink in like they should have. I know this was so they could include everything they wanted to in this episode, and they even added some stuff later on, but it was still a little bit disappointing. I also admit that I don't like Gluttony's voice actor here. It didn't feel like it fit him, or at least not the way his character looked. Maybe I'll get more used to it as I watch more, or maybe I'll like the English stuff better, but yeah, I was surprised because I normally am not bothered by Japanese voice acting. In this case, though, it just felt like he sounded too much like Greed, so... Yeah, there's a small complaint there. But then we got back to Subaru, and that's when the episode really started to impress me. Felix is crying over Krush was chilling, and then Subaru's desperation to find Rem was so good. Between Subaru yelling, the flashbacks, and everything else, it was just such a powerful scene. And then he finally finds her and sees there's no way to wake her up. So he does the only thing he can and kills himself hoping to go back to before this happened so he could save her. One of the things I like about the anime adaptation specifically is that they added Subaru's hesitation here. He considers that he'd have to defeat Pelagis again, and out with how hard that was last time, well, that's definitely a challenge. But for Rem, he would defeat Pelagis as many times as it took. And I really like what that adds to the story from the web novel. Except his plan doesn't work. He instead wakes up on the cart next to Amelia, and gets another devastating who's Rem from her. Then we can see Rue sitting above Rem as she just sleeps. He's devastated. Puck shows up to give him some answers, but while well, Puck gives Subaru some answers, he gives me even more questions. We learn that Puck cannot wake Rem from this, showing that there's a limit to his power. Which makes me wonder, like, how both Puck and Gluttony fit in the overall framework of all the character powers within ReZero. Because Puck is definitely one of the strongest characters we've ever seen. Granted, the reason he might not be able to wake Rem up could be he's not good at healing magic, but I feel like there's something more to it there. Plus, we later learn that all the healers in the city can't do anything for those who have lost their memory, like Krush, or those with sleeping beauty sickness, like Rem. Which also begs a question. How many people have been afflicted by this, have been attacked by the witch's cult in this way? Because Rem and Krush are not the only victims, it seems. We'll have to keep an eye out for that later on. But then Puck makes the comment saying that Subaru needs to continue taking care of Amelia. Which is kind of weird? It makes sense when you consider Puck, but seems sort of out of place. And I think this is because they cut a lot of the scene out of the anime from the web novel. There's one line specifically that I really loved, where Subaru was telling Puck not to touch Rem with his words or his actions. And that was, like, really good to see. And the whole scene of Subaru lashing out at Puck, being angry, it just wasn't here. Maybe we'll get that later on, but it feels rather odd to cut. Again, I know time constraints... But yeah, and I'm normally not one to complain about differences between source material because I tend not to read source material, but it did bother me, and because I have read the source material in this case, well, there you go. In one of the biggest scenes, and that is a big conversation with Krush, Felix, Wilhelm, Amelia, and Subaru. Here, Felix blames Amelia for what happened to Krush, and then gets yelled at by everyone. But well, Felix is wrong here. His mindset is understandable, and it shows his loyalty to, to Krush, in that he doesn't want to see her get hurt anymore. And that's also why he suggests ending the alliance with Amelia. 
And that's the thing I like about Felix as a character. He has his loyalties merely to Cruz. And while I would say Felix is definitely a good person, it shows that just because he's a good person, he's not necessarily on the main character's side. So that is a great touch for ReZero as a whole with all the different characters. But of course, the star of the scene is Cruz, who wants to fight against the witch's cult despite not having her memories. I like her character here, showing how strong she is, how she is still the same person even without her memories. And I think her journey throughout the season is going to be amazing. Yeah, Cruz is kind of the best character. Though by far my favorite scene of the episode is the final one with Amelia and Subaru in Rem's room. This scene was so beautiful and emotional, and I love how much Amelia cares about Rem here, despite not having any memory of her. It's a small touch, but I like how Amelia picks up on how similar she looks to Ram and knows that they must be sisters. It shows how much of a heart Amelia has for people, even ones she doesn't know. But it also shows how much she cares about Subaru, caring about Rem because of how much Subaru cares about her. And I love how Amelia is trying to be there for Subaru here. She can't fully relate to him. She knows this. But she's trying. She wants to understand how he feels. And I love the line, telling him not to burden himself with carrying the weight of Rem alone. Again, it's so beautiful. Amelia's love for Subaru is so perfect here. She wants to help. She wants to take his pain away. She wants to express her gratitude for him for everything he has done for her. And I think this could be the start of them actually being a good couple. In season one, their relationship was basically Subaru being in love, doing everything he could, and Amelia being appreciative, but not feeling quite the same way. Now it's much more like two people coming together to carry each other's burdens. And that's what a couple is. And it's so cute how they both see the other as being more amazing than they are. Though they are both pretty amazing. And it is so much like Subaru to ask Amelia to turn around while he cries. Though she can't do that for long. When he cries, we see Subaru at his most powerless and helpless. He had one trick in the world, his return by death, but that was useless. Though he's not alone, as we see when Amelia hugs him, runs her hand through his hair. And then Subaru vows here to become the hero that will save Rem. A wonderful episode to get us back into ReZero. I'm excited to see where we go here, despite the fact that I honestly have no clue where they're going. Like they have that scene with Wilhelm in the web novel, which maybe that's where they'll go? I don't know. But other than that, I'm going to have to just wait and see. Let me know what you thought of the episode, too, and join me next week when I find more things about ReZero to ramble about. There's a lot here, and I know I missed some stuff this episode, too. So yes, uh, go check that out next week. Subscribe if you want more ReZero or more anime content in general. And leave a comment telling me what you thought about the episode. But again, no Season 2 spoilers beyond this point, please. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time.